In this video, we're going to do stoichiometry and thermodynamics. And when I tell my students that there's a groan, I heard you groan when I said that, is actually much easier than what you think. There's something super special right here. So we have a chemical reaction with a delta H next to it. When you put enthalpy next to a chemical reaction, that is called a thermal chemical equation. Um, thermal chemical equation, excuse me. Uh, and what this tells us is the amount of energy that's released from this reaction. And here's how you read it. Notice that right there, moles of reaction. It means as this is written with the molar coefficients, this much energy is released. So for example, two moles of ethane will produce the 2,857.3 kilojoules. In this reaction, if you have exactly seven moles of oxygen, it produces a 2,800. Um, if four moles of CO2 are produced, or six moles of water are produced, it releases 2,857.3 kilojoules. So I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to do two examples with um, thermochemical equations. Well, let's start with five grams. We'll say that we've got five grams of this ethane. And I want to know, well, if I have five grams, it's not a mole, it's not two moles of this, but if I got five grams, how much energy will be released? Now here's the beauty and power of this. That is a ratio, which means we can do um, our dimensional analysis to walk from amount of substance, moles, to energy. That is a relationship between substance and energy. That is powerful. So if I have five grams and I wanna know how much energy is released, there it is. That's going to be the key to walk from amount of substance moles to the energy kilojoules. Well, if I'm given grams, but this is in kilojoules per mole, you know what I'm gonna say, bring it to moles. So let's bring this to moles. We got C2H6, molar mass on this is gonna be 30.08 grams for every mole of ethane. Now this is the part where you have to be careful. What students will do is they'll go, oh, one mole of ethane produces this much. You have to look at the chemical equation, whatever the molar coefficient is, that's what's attached to your delta H over here, to your energy. So looking at that whole thermal chemical equation, two moles of ethane produce the 2,857.3 kilojoules. Look at our units. Grams cancel, moles cancel, and we're left with energy. Awesome. So if we do that math, let's see, two sig figs right here, we will get 240 kilojoules. Okay. So if I have two moles of ethane, it's going to produce 2,800. Uh, kilojoules. But if I've only got five grams of ethane, it's going to, oh, I'm going to make sure I carry my negative, it's going to release 240 kilojoules. So again, the uh, thermochemical equation allows you to go from amount of substance moles to amount of energy. Neat. Let's do another problem. Uh, so this is actually a heat of formation. I'm going from the elements, those raw elements, to one compound. Technically, I could put a subscript F there for formation. Um, when water is formed from its elements, it releases 285.8 kilojoules per mole of reaction. So again, how I read this, one mole of hydrogen produces 285 kilojoules. A half a mole of oxygen in this reaction releases 285. If one mole of water is produced, it releases 285. So let's say that we have 100 grams of hydrogen. And I say, okay, we're going to combust. We're going to combine this hydrogen with oxygen, also with synthesis reaction to form water. How much energy will be released? I don't have a mole of it. I just have 100 grams. How much energy will be released? Again, I look at my units, kilojoules per mole. That means I've got to bring this to moles. Bring it to moles. 2.02 grams of hydrogen in every one mole of hydrogen. And then I look at my thermochemical equation. One mole of hydrogen is from this understood uh, molar coefficient of one, is going to release 285.8 
kilojoules. So this whole mole reaction, it's as you read that entire equation. Um, so making it very specific, well, one mole of hydrogen releases that much energy. Okay, do this math, 100 divided by 2.02 times the negative 285. And let's see, I have three sig figs on this is going to give me 14,100. Wow, is that right? Yeah, that is right, crazy. It's going to give me 14,000, because that would be about 50 times, wow, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna put this in scientific notation, 1.41, there's my three sig figs, times 10 to the four kilojoules. Baby, let's go combust some hydrogen. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so maybe, hopefully, a little bit easier than what you thought. You're going to use the delta H for that equation, the thermal chemical equation. You're going to use that to walk from amount of substance moles to amount of energy. Good luck.